The principle of compassion lies at the heart of all religious, ethical, and spiritual traditions. Calling us always to treat all others as we wish to be treated ourselves. Compassion impels us to work tirelessly to alleviate the suffering of our fellow creatures. To dethrone ourselves from the center of our world and put another there. To honor the inviolable sanctity of every single human being. Treating everybody without exception. With absolute justice, equity, and respect. It is also necessary in both public and private life to refrain consistently and empathically from inflicting pain. To act or speak violently out of spite, chauvinism, or self-interest. To impoverish, exploit, or deny basic rights to anybody. And to incite hatred by denigrating others, even our enemies. Is a denial of our common humanity. We acknowledge that we have failed to live compassionately. And that some have even increased the sum of human misery in the name of religion. We therefore call upon all men and women to restore compassion to the center of morality and religion. To return to the ancient principle that any interpretation of scripture that breeds violence, hatred, or disdain is illegitimate. To ensure that youth are given accurate and respectful information about other traditions, religions, and cultures. To encourage a positive appreciation of cultural and religious diversity. To cultivate an informed empathy with the suffering of all human beings, even those regarded as enemies. We urgently need to make compassion a clear, luminous, and dynamic force in our polarized world. Rooted in a principled determination to transcend selfishness. Compassion can break down political, dogmatic, ideological, and religious boundaries. Born of our deep interdependence, compassion is essential for human relationships and to a fulfilled humanity. It is the path to enlightenment and indispensable in the creation of a just economy and a peaceful global community.